And then all you do is just put your drink down on the bar and you leave it alone. I'm not sure you expected that to happen and neither did I. So let's try and explain what's happening. Electric fields apply forces to charges. Why does putting two transparent things on top of each other do something so strange when you turn it through 90 degrees? Welcome back, and I've got an absolutely fabulous experiment to show you today. What we're going to be looking at is the reflection of radiated heat. So you'll notice that Laika the space dog's not with us again today. She's off on one of her world travelling missions, and more of that at the end of the video. So I've brought you into the echoey prep room um, to show you an experiment that I absolutely love. And I think it's one that many of you will never get a chance to see at school. So let's start off with a bit of background. Uh, some of you might have heard stories about a building, uh, there's one in London, that seems to be causing cars to melt or the paint to be damaged on really hot and sunny days. Um, I looked this up and they seem to be referring to the uh, walkie-talkie building in London, though I'm not sure if it was that one. Um, an impressive building nonetheless. But what's important is the building had a reflective glass front. That's the first thing. Secondly, the reflective glass was curved in a sort of dish shape. And thirdly, it was a hot sunny day. Well, that news story reminded me of an experiment I've been doing for years and years. And uh, we're lucky that we've got the apparatus to do it here. So remember that we need a curved, shiny surface. So I've got a dish here and it's shiny and curved inwards. It's a concave dish. And in front of it, I've got a radiant heater. So I'm going to plug that in and turn it on. And this is going to represent light coming from the sun, or more importantly, infrared radiation, heat. And at this end, I've got another curved concave dish, and that's going to behave like the building. And here's the car. So I'm going to put a match here. And what's really important is that heat is going to come from here, but never mind how much heat hits the front of this match, it won't light it. Um, I used to demonstrate that by actually having a match here, really close to the heater. But if you remember, it was the effect of the building, so this surface, that caused the cars to melt or at least be damaged by the heat radiation from the sun. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave this on for a few moments. The heater's going to warm up. And let's see what happens to our match. So there we go. There's our match bursting into flames. So what we need to do now is explain what was happening in this experiment. So let's have a bit of an explanation. So we've got the sun here, our radiant heater. I've, I've left it on for a while. And um, that's giving out masses of infrared radiation, heat radiation, which of course is invisible to the human eye. Um, that radiation is being given out in all directions, but we're particularly interested in the heat radiation that hits this dish. Now, if we get the heater at the focal point of the dish, the heat radiation that goes out like that will hit the dish and will focus in to form a parallel beam. So it's actually not that, it's warm all the way along here, but I could hold my hand here pretty much forever. Okay, the uh, beam of infrared is concentrated, but not that concentrated. But remember the effect of the curved building. So in comes the infrared beam, hits this dish and reflects inwards to the focal point of the dish, 
So all of this heat energy is concentrated down to a tiny point, and if we've set it up just right, right on the head of the match. And given a short period of time, there's enough heat in the match to light it and it burns. So I hope you now understand a little bit more about heat radiation and how you can reflect it off shiny curved surfaces. Maybe after doing this experiment, there might be a little bit of truth in those perhaps apocryphal stories about curved shiny buildings melting cars. Anyway, I love this experiment and I hope you enjoyed it too. And I'll be doing another experiment soon and I look forward to seeing you then.